Hi, my name's Sam. Welcome to the shop. Today we're going to be talking about the ProTrack KMX software. When you first power up the software, you'll see three prompts. Check system, shutdown, and open temp. To open the software for use, select check system. If you'd like to shut down the software, select shut down and it will prompt you to shut down the machine. If you would like to open a temporary file you have previously saved, select open temp. Today we're going to select check system to start the software. The software will automatically prompt you to select a mode. You have six different modes, DRO, program, setup, run, program in out, and math help. Today we're going to run an overview of all six of these. When in any mode, select mode to return to this main screen. Starting with the DRO program, select the DRO button. When you select the DRO function, it will show you this home page. You'll notice it tells you that you are in DRO mode up at the top. It'll tell you the tool number you are using, that you're in a two axis machine, and that your current units is inch. This software has features such as jog, return to absolute zero, teach, tool number, power feed. To go back and select a different mode, simply select mode. The next mode that you see is program. Select the program button. Once you have selected the program mode, you notice it will tell you that you are in program mode. It will now ask you if you would like to name your program. You can do this now or you can do this when you save your program later. Off to the side, you notice five different commands. Go to beginning, go to end, go to number, alpha matrix, or delete events. Alpha matrix is what allows you to enter a name for the program name. Delete events will delete all events. Go to beginning will take you to the beginning of the program. Go to end will take you to the end of the program. Go to number will take you to a certain event number. Select go to beginning. Once, select, once selected go to beginning, you will see the program page. The program will prompt you to select an event. There are six events to select from. Position drill, mill, arc, pocket, profile, or sub. We will discuss how to program in a later video. Select page back to go back a page. You are now at the home screen for the program mode. Select mode to take you back to the mode selection page. Once at the mode selection page, you notice the next mode we have is setup. Click setup. Once in the setup mode, it will prompt you for four different settings. Tool table, tool path, verify part, or service codes. Select tool table. Once you have a program programmed, when you click tool table, it will ask you for the specifications of each tool. Starting with the diameter, you can enter the diameter of the tool. It will ask you for a Z offset. It will ask you for a Z modifier. It will then ask you to enter the type of tool that you would like to use. This isn't terribly important, although it can help you remember what tool you wanted to use. To select the tool type, click the number of the tool and click enter. For example, a rough end mill is number three. Select number three and click absolute set to enter the data. Once you've entered your tool specifications, you can simply return and it will take you to the previous page. We will discuss toolpath and verify part in the programming video coming out later. Service codes is used if you need to change something about the program. Click mode to return to the mode selection page. The next mode you see is run. When you have a program programmed, you can select run to start running that program. Select run. You notice it will show you the coordinates of where your machine is currently at. To start the program, simply select start. The machine will then prompt you to run the program. We will discuss this in a later video. The next mode is program in and out. Select program in and out. This will allow you to open previous programs, open temporary files you've saved, save a program, delete a program, erase your current program, or return to the previous screen. The next mode is math help. If you select math help, 
it will prompt you for different styles of assistance with math. Simply input the selection you would like to use and follow the prompts. When you'd like to shut down the machine, simply click restore and select shut down. It will then prompt you if you would like to shut down the, the machine. Select yes. It will then tell you to use the main switch on the back of the program to shut down the machine. Your machine is now shut down. Thank you for watching. Please sure to come back for our mode specific videos.